Hi, um, this video is my response to the initial evaluation that I performed. My participant was my own daughter and her father. She is um, four years old. She will also soon be attending preschool. She loves unicorns, rainbows, and princesses. And she can count to 40 and she can write her full name. Um, on the initial M chart, she scored a yes to every question except for questions 2, 5, and 12. On questions 2, 5, and 12, she scored no, um, which means that she has a low risk for autism. Her father and I do feel that this is correct. Um, I am aware of signs for autism, and I have done my own assessments in the past on my daughter. Um, and through my observations, uh, we never felt that she was at any risk for autism. And according to her pediatrician, she is developing well. Through this evaluation, I learned that it is important that every parent is aware of the risk that their child might have um, for autism. And it is also important that every parent knows what to look for. I would recommend to any parent to do an initial evaluation using the M chart and to bring up any concerns that they might have um, to their child's pediatrician in case they were to score um, or if the results of the initial M chart evaluation um, might indicate that they are at any risk for autism. I do believe, however, that the M chart um, should only be used for a child that is at least two years of age, um, a parent that is any younger than two, or a parent that has a child that is younger than two, might wanna have, might wanna do some different type of evaluation, one that is more age appropriate. Um, and it does indicate in the instructions that a second screening might be needed if the initial screening was done before the child was two years of age. Some of these questions, um, do seem to be targeted to a child that is older, maybe three or four years old. So for example, I, I don't think that this would be appropriate for a child that is um, one. And I also did not encounter any problems during the evaluation. And I do feel that the questions are relevant, but again, relevant for a child that is at least two years of age. Thank you.